Hi friends, it's Miss McQueen here. So we are here together to continue our composting project. I'm really excited because it is the start of our second week observing our compost bins that we created together. Um, so let's all turn to our week two page in our compost journals, okay? We did our week one um, observations together, okay? Now let's go to week two. I have my week two page ready to go right here. Do you? All right. Well, so brief again. Um, you all can probably tell that I am not in my lo usual location um, when I'm filming. Uh, when I film my videos for you all. I'm actually, I am somewhere different. Um, so you might be wondering, Miss McQueen, where are you? Your background looks different. Well, I am actually at my family's cabin um, outside of the city. I chose to come here just to get out of the city and um, be somewhere where it was a lot more quiet and beautiful and I was out my cabin is um, on the beach, um, so I get to be near the water um, and in nature more. So I love it here, so that's why I've chosen to um, come here for a little bit and get out of the city. Um, but because of that, I, uh, I forgot to bring my composting bin that I made with you all last week. So instead, I created another one. I created another composting been right here and it, again it has soil in it um, instead of orange peels um, and um, a lemon I use I still use some paper if you can see right here I ripped up some paper just like my original compost bin I had some paper you can see there's soil in here I also used some lettuce um, instead of orange peels um, and I used some flowers um, and leaves and grass um, in this compost bin so I still I made I just made another one and then as you can see I also made I made another another compost bin so that we can continue tracking and observing our compost together. Okay, so now let's all go to our week two. Can you all see this? Our week two page of our compost journals. And let's take a look. Let's take a look at my compost bin so far. So for me, I don't know if you can tell, but one thing that I'm really noticing and observing is there's little water droplets. There's water droplets. Can you see that right there? I'm noticing that condensation, condensation is occurring. Remember when we learned about condensation when we review when we were learning about the water cycle and the different phases condensation bringing together water droplets forming forming together okay so I'm gonna draw first thing I'm gonna draw is here I'll put this right here can you all see that there you go. Okay. I see a lot of soil. So I'm still, I'm going to draw some soil. Week two. It's kind of all over the place. Not as leveled out as my compost bin that I made last week. So I'm going to do a bit more soil. And I see a lot of green. I see a lot of green from the lettuce. So like a big chunk of green right here. Good, right here, cool, cool, cool. And then I also see some yellow. And 
that looks like the flowers to me. So I'll draw some more yellow flowers. And I see some more soil. So I'm noticing that I see water droplets and let me get some more. The water droplets I'll do in blue, even though the color re really is kind of clear. Um, but let's grab a blue. And I'm noticing, where am I seeing the water droplets? I, I see it on the cup, on the side of the cup. Do you see it? Right here, especially. So near the lettuce, and so I will draw little water droplets, kind of like this. So I have week two, a lot of soil and the green for the lettuce and the yellow for the flowers. And right here on the edge of the jar, I have my water droplets because of condensation. And the phase that comes before that is evaporation. Do you remember what causes what causes evaporation and condensation? Heat, heat. So right here, Remember, we put saran wrap on the top to trap, to trap the air inside. And we've even watered our compost in just a little bit. We poured some water in it. Um, and now because the saran wrap is trapping in the heat, and we did put, poke some little holes for oxygen and air, but for the most part, the heat is trapped in it. And that is what's causing the condensation on the edges, on the side of the of this cup. It's really cool. Take a look at yours, and do you notice water droplets on the edge of your cup? If you do, you can draw it and write, write that out. Remember, at the bottom, you can write what you notice. So for me, I'm going to write, I notice, I notice water droplets on the side of my compost bin, period. What else do I notice? I think another thing that I noticed was it's even more water. Um, the soil seems a bit more mixed, mixed in together with the different items that I put in here, the different organic materials. So I will also say as a final sentence, I notice the soil is mixed in with the other items, the other items more. Let's go on a new line. Okay. For week two, here's what I have. Some of you, some of you have been sending me pictures of your compost journals and the work that you have been doing. I am so proud of you all. One really cool thing I noticed is not only are you drawing your observations, you are also labeling your observations too. You're labeling the soil. You're labeling the food that you are putting in your compost bin. So you know what? 
I'm going to do that too because that is a great idea. So I will label right here soil. I will label right here water droplets. I will label right here flowers. And lettuce. And I even see a little bit more soil right here. So what I did is I labeled on the side what I see in my compost bin. So soil, lettuce for the green, water droplets, I wrote that in the blue, more soil. You can't really tell, but that says flowers in yellow. So that's another great way to remember exactly what you are noticing and observing in your compost bin. So maybe if you didn't label the first time, for week two, for this week, you can label what you are noticing in your compost bin. Okay, that's it for week two. However, I have one more really exciting thing that I want to show you. At my cabin, we have a really big composting bin. And actually, it is called a worm bin. We have a big worm bin that we made here to help speed up the process of composting. Worm bins are really a great way to stay sustainable. It's another way that you can be as sustainable as possible. You can throw all of your compost into that worm bin. And so not only are you reducing the amount of waste and you're creating more soil by throwing that compost into the worm bin, but you are also feeding worms and other bugs that may end up there helping to break down the compost. They break it down by eating it up. So not only are you helping, helping um, reduce the amount of waste, but you're also feeding other li living beings at the same time. So I have I have a big bowl of some compost that I need to throw in there, give feed to the worms anyway. So let's go do that right now and I can show you what my worm bin looks like. Okay. Alrighty, so right here I have my bin of compost. I see an avocado peel, some onion peels, um, some eggshells. All right, here we go. It's a beautiful day out today. Okay. Woo. So, let's see, do you all see that big blue bin? That is the worm bin. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, here is the worm bin. It's pretty big, huh? Okay, I'm going to open it up. Just see what you notice. See what you observe. Whoa! Wow! So inside of our worm bin, we have a ton of soil and here's some food that we put in there, some compost that we put in our worm bin yesterday. And as you can tell, what do you see? What do you notice? Worms, beetle bugs, roly polies, some food. 
They're eating it up. They're speeding up the process. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is so I'm going to take the bowl of compost some more from today. I'm going to pour it in there. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to use this pitchfork to mash it all up. So I'm not going to be mashing it up, I'm actually just going to be kind of mixing it up just so that the worm at the bottom Alrighty. Well, that is it for today's lesson. And I can't wait to see what you all notice for your compost bin for week two. Do you notice water on the edges of your cup? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Do you notice more soil kind of mixed up together? Maybe, maybe not. Woo, it is, it is windy. All right, everyone, great work today. And I look forward to wrapping up this compost project with you all next week for our week three and final week of August.